Hey there, folks. Today we're diving into the process of crafting an organic pod inside 3DS Max. Let's kick things off by creating a sphere. Set the segments to 30 for some smoothness and apply a shell modifier to give it some thickness, ensuring the inside of our pot is nice and smooth. Next up, apply an Edit Poly modifier. Select the last vertex and control click on faces to choose them. Then, hit Grow and align those faces to the Z axis, giving them a gentle tug along that axis. Now, shift and drag to create the base of our pot. To add a nice edge to the base, let's apply a chamfer. Select the edges as indicated. Then click Ring, right click, and choose Extrude. Extrude those edges and apply another chamfer to maintain those lovely ribs. Time to give our pot some character. Apply a twist modifier and set it to a 90 degree angle. Then, apply a TurboSmooth modifier to really smooth things out. If you're printing this, don't hesitate to up the smoothness. Now, let's add some detail with a Slice modifier. Remove the positive, check the cap, and click on Slice Plane in the drop-down. Adjust as needed. Voila, our bowl is ready, but hey, why stop there? Let's take it up a notch and turn this into a vase. Apply the STL check modifier to ensure the model is ready for 3D printing. Select everything and check for errors. If no errors are found, great. Export the model as an STL file and hit OK. Apply the FFD4 modifier and adjust it to create a vase from your model. And hey, remember to always keep that STL check modifier on top to ensure everything's print ready. And that's a wrap. If you found this helpful or learned something new, hit that subscribe button, like and share with your friends. Your support keeps these tutorials coming and I'm excited to bring you more content like this. Happy creating!